Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are making over my bedroom. You guys have seen a little bit of the space because we did a full headboard bed frame DIY situation and you guys really seem to enjoy that video. So we're basically just kind of like finishing up this space you haven't really seen the full overview yet, but before we jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this thing. You guys might remember from my empty house tour what this bedroom looked like. Just a big empty room. <laughs> Well, we did have some dressers in it when we got there. So it's a really nice space, a decent sized bedroom, a nice big window, good closet size. So really it just needs some paint, some styling, a bed. The first thing that we actually did was get a rug in this space. Rug actually warmed up this room so much. I went with a jute rug from Loloi. I will link it down below, but I love that it's not just like a plain jute. It has this nice kind of like pattern to it. So putting this rug down really already just warmed up the space, made it feel a little bit more like me. Next, we are going to unbox some brand new bedding because this video is sponsored today by Brooklinen. I have actually used and love Brooklinen bedding for a couple of years now. There's no turning back. <laughs> There's no turning back. We love Brooklinen, love sleeping in their sheets. They actually gave me a code for you guys. You can use code EMILYFACE to get $20 off any order over a hundred. I will have all of that stuff linked down in the description box below. Just click the link, use the code. When I was choosing which sheets I wanted, you guys can see they have quite a few different options of type of sheets to choose from, whether it's linen or um, luxe satin. They just have different kinds and they have different color options, sizes. They even have some patterns. So. There is a lot of choices. <laughs> I knew for my bedroom and this space, I wanted to keep it really, really minimal, clean, kind of like hotel vibes that your bedroom just feels like fresh. I want my bed to feel fresh and cozy. So I this time went with, I really like <laughs> my glasses are on. <laughs> Whoops, didn't have them on in the other shot and now I do have them on. So I wanted to go all white and because our DIY headboard, which I will get into a little later, is kind of like a cream color, I wanted the sheets to have a little bit of contrast from the headboard. So we went white on white. I got the Lux Core sheet set. I have yet to get their Lux sheets. I've always gotten linen, but I wanted to try them and holy moly, you guys, <laughs> they are so soft. I'm in heaven. I cannot wait to sleep on these. These are like next level soft. I have a handful of their linen, but I did not have a pure white linen duvet. So that is what I got because I still had to get some linen. You guys know. So I got their pure white linen duvet. We've slept on their linen for years and it's literally so soft such high quality. I can't say enough good things about their linen. So I'm very excited. We've got white on white. What I love about Brook Linen is that their bedding, like their Lux bundle, for example, you can get between 200 and 250, depending on sizing. And a lot of competitor companies can charge over $500. And if you get one of their hardcore bundles where that's like a bundle of the linen set. You get the sheet, the duvet, the pillow covers, all the stuff. You actually can save 25% more by getting the bundle. So I love that they are a more affordable option, but they are not compromising on their quality. I'm gonna throw these in the wash and then a little later, you're going to get these put on the bed. <laughs> the glasses are back. The next thing we did is actually DIY our bed frame. If you wanna see a full in-depth tutorial on this, we have a video, I will link it down below. But essentially we got this big piece of wood, wrapped it in foam, wrapped it in batting, and then staple gunned some beautiful fabric around it. And then we kinda of did the same. We made a frame to go right around our box spring. We wrapped that in fabric, screwed it all together, 
and have my dream Pinterest bed frame. That kind of brings you up to date on where we're at. So let me show you guys how we've been living with our room for a while now. So you guys will see we have our bed, which already has Brooklyn and sheets on it. Those aren't the new ones yet. You guys can kind of see, we got our rug, the beds in place. We have a little side table. We have our really nice mirror. So there's some good things. There's a couple problem areas in my bedroom. One is this area next to my bed. There's a lot of cords. The plugs are on the wrong walls. I've got all the baby things right now that I'm using. We got a sound machine, a cute little light thing, diapers. There's just all the baby things. And one thing that isn't in the space yet, but will be is that I have a little keyboard that I got for my birthday. I love to play piano and sing, although I'm really not a good piano player, but that's beside the point. It's something I really enjoy and I haven't been able to do that for a few years. We got rid of the piano I had when we lived in BC. It was just too big for our home. We didn't have anywhere to put it, so we sold it. And my husband just surprised me with this beautiful, it's very me, cream colored keyboard. I absolutely love it. And we want to put it in this space next to my bed. I have been scouring Facebook Marketplace for something that is like the right size, the right depth, something that I actually like. We have searched the internet and we've definitely found some things, but everything's also so expensive. And when I would find some things on Marketplace, honestly, we have done a lot of little like furniture projects. We even currently have some going that you guys don't know about yet. And we just were not mentally ready to take on <laughs> another DIY sanding down stripping furniture at this time for this space. So we did come up with a solution, but I'll get into that later. The next problem area in our room is the curtains. Now we have these two beautiful curtains, but they are just, it's like not working. You guys also see we have this absolutely beautiful cupboard that you might remember from like my second rental made home video. We actually redid this. This is a free piece that was left in our garage and we completely sanded it down, just left it at its raw wood. Absolutely love it. We use it for all of our clothes. It needs art. It needs like vases or things, like it needs to be styled. The last thing is that we decided to remove the closet doors. So we need to figure out, do we wanna leave this as an open closet? Do we wanna cover it up, curtain? What do we wanna do? And lastly, we need to paint. So actually let's start with painting this space because it's a huge project. Every room we need to paint, we have to do the baseboards first and the window trim. And just, that's a lot of work to do it right. What the room is looking like, an absolute disaster, but all the trim has been painted. Okay, so we had to do three coats to cover the trim. And then last night, my husband cut in. So all we have to do is roll today. I think we only need two coats. He also patched some holes. We slept out in the living room last night. Look at this disaster. Yeah, we're painting. Oh yeah, good job. Good job? Thanks, babe. and the glasses are back. <laughs> so the room has been painted white and honestly, painting with three kids and just trying to get this stuff done, it's like a whole thing. Painting our room was like a huge thing. It was easier than painting the living room, but you know, I think in YouTube videos, it's just like snap, it's painted. And it's like, oh dang, that took us like two or three days to just get all that done. But anyways, we got it done and you know what I felt like the room before, the color isn't like this terrible color, but it felt dingy. And then walking in to what is now just a fresh, bright space, just this like, 
ah, I can breathe again. Like it feels so good to have this room be white. We love it. The room is definitely feeling a little stark. So there's a few things we're gonna do to definitely warm up the space and just let it still feel cozy. The first thing being we are actually switching out our light. I forgot to say that was another thing that really needed change. It is a very outdated fan and this fan was like dirty. Like we're just like this thing needs to go. What we decided to do is actually switch our dining room light. Do you guys remember our Facebook marketplace wicker light? Well, I was looking at it. I was like, this is the exact light I have on all my Pinterest boards for my bedroom. And I was seeing some new inspo pics for our dining room. And we actually have kind of like a whole dining room refresh, kind of half remake over coming up maybe next month. So I thought, why not switch this beautiful wicker light to our bedroom? I feel like it's so much more bedroom vibes and it's such a statement and switch out our dining room light with something else, which actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen what we switched it out with. So my husband went, took out this fan and put in this wicker light and holy moly, it's so good. I love it in our bedroom. I'm very happy we made that change. I think it was the right choice for both of the spaces. The next thing we did was DIY a floating desk for my keyboard. So it's kind of, like a keyboard nightstand situation. We went to Home Depot and we found this piece of wood that was the exact dimension we wanted and it has this great rounded edge. Let me show you guys this little process of my husband putting this up. So he made sure to find the studs and I think on the one side we couldn't get a stud like at the right spot so we did make sure to use drywall anchors. Got the brackets up screwed in this piece of wood on top and voila. Now we have the perfect little floating desk that fits my keyboard perfectly. Now that our little desk is up, the next thing we're gonna tackle is the curtains. Now, I really loved the curtains that I had picked. We bought them and I was like, you know what, I think what we need to do is just buy a second panel, double these up, have them look twice as thick, which adds definitely like a luxurious look. They were looking cheap and flimsy. So luckily they were still in stock. So I went ahead, ordered another panel, put them on and my husband re-hung up these curtains and it made a huge, huge difference. Like now the curtains make sense. That's the only way I could say it is before they just looked like wah, wah. <laughs> And now they look like, wow, those look like hotel-like. The next thing to tackle is kind of the decor above our beautiful cupboard. Now, I went to the antique store. If you guys saw it in my last video, I went back to that antique store and I found this beautiful big crock. It's a shorter cupboard, so we kind of need something substantial on top, but I was having a hard time figuring out what that is. I feel like this crock on the cupboard just makes sense. It's nice and big. So getting that decorated. I did thrift this chair. Here is what it looked like before. And here it is now. I painted it and recovered the cushion. I basically mixed two paints I had on hand. Um, there, I mixed like a chalk paint with this other sort of off-white and this is the color I got. This was an Ikea pillowcase that we weren't using, so I just put it to use, covered it, and there we go. And then lastly, I ended up getting a shower curtain, basically a shower curtain pole that just you can extend to the right size, and I'm using that to hide our clothes in our closet. I felt like then it's an easy solution to just open and shut. It still looks really minimal. I'm not really drawing too much attention to the closet because it is just a closet, but I think it's better than the doors and it's better than having it open. I think it's time for our final touches. So let's first start by getting our bed made. We are going to get our Brooklinen sheets and duvet put on the bed. So let's go do that.
The bed is made, it's looking so good. Let's put some of the final pieces around the room, put the piano in place. Are you ready to see what this space looked like when we moved in? And here it is now. I am beyond happy with how this space turned out. It definitely matches my vision of what I had hoped this space would be. It feels peaceful and calm. My bed is like my safe place. I absolutely love our Brooklyn and bedding. Sleeping in these sheets is amazing, so soft. You guys have to go check out Brooklyn and they have over 20 plus styles and colors to choose from. I know you would find something that suits you and your style. And don't forget, they gave me a code. You can use code EMILYFAITH to get $20 off any order over a hundred. I'll have all of that linked linked down in the description box below. Thank you again, Brooklinen, for partnering with me on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this bedroom makeover. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe. For more of my everyday life, follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. Comment down below. Let me know what content you guys are really enjoying. Do you wanna see more thrift content? Do you wanna see more room makeovers, more furniture projects? Like, Just let me know what you are enjoying down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!